first of all, whenever Barbara Kane calls me, I will drop everything to do something for her. She's my angel in the music business. And uh, I love the opportunity to come and talk about how the song started. If people are interested to hear about it, I'm going to tell them. For me, my favorite thing to do is to be with the artist. Because for me, it's not about what I want. It's really kind of a reflection of who they are and where they are at in their life. And so I feel it is like a big therapy session. The best sessions are. And um, I feel that I'm reflecting what the artist wants. So I just, I do a lot of listening, probably more listening than I do talking in a session. Um, and I'm really good at spotting other people's genius when they come up with something that's brilliant and they've gone past it. I'm like, back that up on your, on your uh, voice recorder because I just heard something amazing. So I'm really good at being, I call it being a butterfly collector. If you've got a song in your heart, then just you know, trust that, that to, to, you gotta get it out. And if you wanna be a songwriter, nothing's stopping you. Just really work at it. I had no idea of how to get into the business. I was 14 when I started and I just like said a prayer. I really wanna do this and I just kept working on it. And for years I was like, probably, I didn't even, I wasn't even sure that I would make it. It, was, it wasn't until I was 33 when I made a penny from the music business. So it was a long haul of having to believe in myself, but just keep believing, that's it, just believe it. If you've got that gift in you, God's gonna make room for that gift, you know. Well, I try to live a lot, you know, before I used to, there was a time when I kind of got burnt out with writing because I would write six days a week and then I cut it back to three days a week and then I would just spend time with friends and family and really living and, and just having fun and then, then that way I can um, draw from that. I spend a lot of time just conversing with my husband and about life and then I'm, I'm always getting titles and then I quickly go and you know, write them down. I have like on my notes on my iPhone, I just have a list of lyric ideas, concepts. And so I show up at sessions, I'm like, I've got this idea. And with BB, I have a song called Gateway Drug. And that came from having two teenage daughters. I'm like, don't start kissing, because you know, kissing is a gateway drug. And so we pretty much, you know, just everything comes from real life or, you know, everything.